Rawlins and Visa counter-attack after Cass puts Durham on top at Hove. Early wickets from Chris Jordan had given Sussex an exceptional start against Durham at Hove on day one, but from 90 for five, the visitors had fought back through skipper Cameron Bancroft and Ned Eckersley. They closed on 259 for five, with Bancroft unbeaten on 120, Eckersley 70 not out. Bancroft started the second morning as he concluded the first, striking Jordan for four in the second over of the day. Eckersley was first to fall, caught and bowled by Wells for 118, closing his partnership with Bancroft on 282. Three balls later, Bancroft was gone too, LBW Rawlins for 158. Rain struck a couple of fours before falling LBW to the same bowler for nine. And the last couple of wickets came in quick succession as Cass was caught by Jordan off Rawlings for two. And Whale was the last man out three balls later, Beer the bowler, Brown with the catch behind the stumps. 384 all out, a rapid demise once Eckersley and Bancroft departed, but from 90 for five, a really good recovery for the visitors. Lunch was taken, with the Sussex reply due to start in the afternoon session. Chris Rushworth bowled the first over, and he had success on the fourth ball of the innings, as Wells was caught out by Lees for two. Two for one became two for two when Cass struck in the fourth over, Beer LBW for a duck. And there was another scoreless batsman moments later as Finch was LBW to Rushworth. Van Zyl tried to lead a response, hitting the first boundary of the innings off Rushworth and he and Evans put together a stand that moved the total towards 50. However, just shy of their half-century partnership, Whale was introduced into the attack and he had Evans caught behind for 20. Brown joined Van Zyl and they once again started to pull the visitors back into the contest. It looked as though they'd survive through to T, only for Van Zyl to fall in the penultimate over before the interval, bowled by Hart for 34. The score at the T interval, 96 for 5. After the break, Carr struck again, Rushworth with the catch as Brown went for 26. Visa was joined by Jordan, but CJ only lasted a handful of balls before being caught out by Bancroft off Cass for 6. 110 for 7, Sussex were in real trouble, but Visa went on the counter-attack. He cracked Cass and Travaskis to the boundary, the latter for a maximum. Rawlins kept him company, and the pair soon had racked up a 50 partnership. Rawlins struck Rain for six, and the pair brought up their century stand. But, Tra but Travaskis then made the breakthrough as he trapped Visa LBW for 56. Cast then dismissed Thomason for three, Lees with the catch. But Sussex then limped to the close, nine down, with Rawlins and Robinson at the crease. 231 for nine the score, Sussex still needing three to avoid the follow-on. It'll be a tense start to the action in Hove on day three.